without further ado, let's go ahead and fight Gary, where I left off last time. What kept you, Valtor? Haha, I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team, Ro uh, Tom Ro blah, 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 Team Rocket slowed you down. Okay, well, you guessed that as much as you want. I left you waiting for the longest time because I don't have time for your crap. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, this guy does not like all the Spanish people that use the English chat. Yeah, there's so many different languages in the chat right now that they put out for you. Ah, dumb move on Gary's part. That's, I just went to the options and I put it on, like, English only, and there's still people who set it to Spanish, but anyway. Okay. Yep, one hit. I was afraid for a second he'd switch to, like, uh, execute. Because El Electabuzz doesn't have anything ready for execute. Boy, he's dumb. If this doesn't down him in one Thunder Punch, it'll definitely take him down in two. Actually, he did a bit better than I thought he would there. Anyway, alright, so... <laughs> I know that I'm putting a lot into Electabuzz here. Like, I'm talking him up more than any of the other Pokemon um, so far in my party, but... I'm really saving him for this instance. I mean, you saw, Gary has three Pokemon in his party right here that are weak to electric if you chose Bulbasaur as your starter. I took down his Gyarados, I took down his Charizard, now I'm going to be taking down his Pidgeot in just a second. Except he put out Executes. Okay, that's no problem. I'll just uh, switch to Blaziken. And if you, even if he sends out Pidgeot, I'll just use a... Uh, What's that kick move called? Blaze kick, there we go. Boom, make no thing. I don't know why it's still execute level 38 at this point. I mean, he could have easily used the Leaf Stone by now. Idiot. Because, yeah, you don't get to, uh... No, hold on a sec, what is this called? Yeah, you don't get to Saffron City before getting to Celadon, because Celadon's where that lady gives you the tea. Okay, my special attack fell. It's okay, I'll use Strength. I don't know why he's using Twister on me. He might as well use, at least use a normal type or flying type move. I guess he just didn't have one, because otherwise the AI really would have done it. Man, so you really are ready for the boss rocket. Yeah, no, no thanks to you. Alright, I'm starting to see how they evolve. Am I a genius or what? I, I like how he always tries to save face every time he loses a battle. Like, his record is what? No, one win, how many losses against me? He only beat me the one time. Hey, you came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Okay, so at this point, uh, Lapras is one of the best Pokemon for getting in your party. So if I didn't already have my party prearranged, I'd say, like, have five Pokemon in your party so that you can immediately use Lapras here. Okay, I think this guy's got, like, Cubones, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move Dragonair up front. I mean, he's just a rocket, so it's not like Amulet Coin is gonna uh, really give me that much. See, my party looks like Electabuzz level 43, Gardevoir level 38, Venusaur level 37, Blaziken level 40. So, you know what, Dragonair is actually pretty much on level with everybody else in my party at this point. I I'm telling you, it's a lot of tedious battles in order to get Dragonair to this level at this point in the game. I suppose I could have held off for a little bit longer, but I did want Electabuzz to gain the experience, so I did take time. And, you know, fighting all those different trainers also gave him effort value. So, for any of you guys who care about effort values at all, I mean, this is a lot considering uh, when I caught him. Dragon Rage. Okay. There's Drowsy. So, uh, Dragonair's in a good place right now. I think two Dragon Rages ought to take this thing down. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> Confusion, really? Okay, I'm not dealing with that. Uh... I like the buzz. What you got for me? Another side beam? I got a high special defense with Electabuzz. I mean, actually, this one's special defense is really awful, but, I mean, all Electabuzz have relatively good special D. Yeah, you just can't go wrong with training these. I think for most of my party, you can't go wrong with training them. Like, Dragonair could always use more of everything, more speed, hit points, special attack, whatever. Uh, Electabuzz always needs more of everything. Gardevoir is really the only one where it's like you don't want to train it in attack because it never uses attack. But, you know, Venusaur, usually I'd say he's not an attack type Pokemon, but uh, now that they gave him uh, Double Edge, you know, go for it. Now, of course, Blaziken, uh, as you can see from his stats, 
you know, attack and special attack are his highest, and so all Pokemon could always use more defense, special atta- defense and speed, so, yeah, this is a really flexible party. Okay, uh, is Gardevoir, yeah, Gardevoir is holding the amulet coin, so I'm gonna go ahead and put her out front, because Giovanni likes using ground types. Ah, Valtor, we meet again. Notice I never gave him my name. The president and I are discussing a vital business proposal. Experience a world of pain. Yeah, also notice that he loves that world of pain line. Yeah, remember when you, we first encountered him? I know I didn't actually point it out at the time, but he never used my name in the first encounter, and then all of a sudden he knows my name somehow. You know why? He, I don't know any of the people in this building. I mean, none of these rockets that I beat, they don't know my name. So it's like he's pulling a Silent Hill 2 on you almost. You know, with Maria. Psychic. Two of these ought to be enough. There we go. Man, that bite hurt. Now that bite's a physical move. Yeah. Alright, dragon there again. Good. No queen. I love using psychic types in the Kanto region. Most of the Pokemon you face, fighting types, poison types, it's just... It's a really good thing to have psychic types because you get so much advantage from it. Huh, I'm surprised he hasn't used like a super potion or something by now. <coughs> Dragonair, level 40. Yeah. Alright. Magical Leaf. One of these just just one ought to do it. Rhyhorn. Man, this guy's got a level 50 Rhyhorn. I don't know why he's using the level 37 one here. Especially since he's about to take over a company. Well, that's it all. You ruined Silph, but, uh, our plans for Silph, but never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. Okay. Oh, my dear boy, thank you for saving Silph. So he gives us, uh, the Master Ball. And now that you've got two games going at uh, the same time here, you could get two Master Balls. But they're not terribly useful, because you can't trade them or anything. Alright, what am I doing? Okay, looking at Lapras. Okay, so this is kind of a sucky Lapras from the first impression. Yeah, this is a bad Lapras, so I'm glad that I'm not using this. Alright, it's Confuse Ray, Water Pulse, Body Slam, and Rain Dance. It's got some nice moves. Yeah, a Jolly One means that speed goes up naturally, but then uh, uh, Special Attack goes down. And you can't really afford to lose Special Attack or Special Defense on Lapras. Okay, so all those employees were gone. So if you did want to get in a good bit of training and stuff on these Rockets and Scientists, I mean, yeah, it gets old after a while, but... Uh, if you don't do it whenever they're in the building, then you're not going to have a chance after you beat Giovanni, because they just all leave the place. Yeah, just check in the second floor to make double sure there was nothing I missed here. Talk to her. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the person? Eek, no! Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. Will you forgive me if I teach you Thunder Okay, never mind. It's Thunder Wave that they're teaching. But Thunder Wave is convenient. Yes, it is. Okay, so finally, I found the person I was looking for. Uh, it was self-destruct, I think, in the original red version, but now it's Thunder Wave. So, if you want to get that move taught to one of your Pokémon, uh, just make sure that you've got the uh, key card first, or card key, whatever. And, uh, once you do, you just go to the second floor, and that lady will teach it to you. No problemo. Okay, so, question, where do we go from here? It's been a while since I faced the gym, so I might as well just go ahead and fight Sabrina. I'm going to like the buzz out front. I'm not even going to bother to heal because I don't see me using Gardevoir in a Psychic type gym. In we go. Now, um, again, teleports are very confusing in this game if you don't know what you're doing. So, here's the answer to getting to Sabrina immediately. Up. Um, get around this guy. Left. Down. Down. Ta-da! Here we are! Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little time in this gym fighting through the trainers because now the trainers are starting to give out a lot of experience and money. So, you know, just ever since I've got past those Snorlaxes in this region, I've just been fighting people for their uh, money. Like, once you get the amulet coin again, that is the time to start fighting trainers for real and not skipping them. So, I'll be back um, pretty much in the same room I am now as soon as I've beaten these trainers. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, I'm back. Time to fight Sabrina. I had a vision of your arrival. It started when I tossed a spoon, but I dislike battling, but if you wish, I'll show you my powers. If you dislike battling, then why are you a gym leader? Okay, so, 
Um, for any of you who remember playing Fire Red, I mean, did you see her sprite just there? I mean, she looks pretty hot in that sprite, but I don't know, she was never really supposed to be like a sex symbol or anything, was she? I mean, I don't recall that being a thing, but anyway, I don't know, maybe it's just me. She really should not have switched like that. Thunder Punch. Man, it is so useful now that this is a physical move. No problems. I know I'm using Electabuzz a lot here, I realize that. I am going to be using other Pokemon a little bit later on, but for right now, I'm still just trying to get him, like, uh... I don't know, I, I haven't gone through the game with many Electric types, so I, I better just use Electabuzz here. Mr. Mime. Okay, just keep using Thunder Punch. I know it's kind of cheap for me to just keep using the same move over and over and over and just get through the gym, but... You know, they don't allow me the option of switching Pokemon. I mean, if I switch, and I really don't need to, then... <sighs> I'm just gonna prolong the battle, you know? The reason I put cuts in between is so that you guys don't have to sit through crap. Alright, uh, Pokemon. Let's go ahead and, uh, send Gargivar in. Give her a chance. Come on, Venomoth, use a psychic move on me. Yeah, don't confuse me. Don't confuse me. Okay, good. You know, Sabrina could be either really easy or really hard, depending on who you have in your team at the time. Alright. This shocks me, but a loss is a loss. I mean, I didn't work hard enough to win. Alright. 5,000. I wonder how much I have now. Psychic powers and some few people have. Everyone has it. Okay. Uh, trainer. Almost up to $150,000 or yen or poke dollars or whatever it is. Okay, up, up, side, down. Yeah, okay, so I just reversed the order and that'll do it. Okay, six gym badges. Let's move on straight to the... Actually, it's about time for us to go back to Hoenn for the second and last time. Alright, but before we do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Aerodactyl fossil here. Or if I choose cut. Going up. <sighs> Spamming Lenny faces is not funny. And now I can't even right click it. Alright, fine. Lock Drago DX. There we go. Shh, listen, I, I have this old amber and stuff, and I totally stole this from Jurassic Park, so uh, here, get this exam in a Pokemon lab. Okay, just trust some random stranger. That's cool. I think you can also learn, like, a, I don't know, lower tier move there as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, talk to Mom real quick, get healed up. Now, I'm going to uh, go through this next part without fighting any trainers if I can possibly dodge them, because I know I said that it's good at this point to fight every trainer in the game, but the thing about swimmers is they really never have any money on them. Let's go ahead and use a Max Repel. I mean, this water, like pretty much all the other water in any Pokemon game ever, is more full of Tentacool than actual H2O, so, yeah. Uh, okay. I can go right in front of these fishermen, and they won't notice a thing. That guy over there, though. Let's go around this way. Sneak past this dude. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Yeah, get away from you. I'm gonna have to go on the land to get past that guy. There we go. Now, you could just use one Repel and get through there. I mean, and if you're on a pretty straight track, the one repel is all you need. Okay, so this right here is probably my favorite Pokemart because it's got pretty much everything you need and it's really easy to access. Got Pokeball through Great Ball, you got all the potions except for Max Potion, which, you know, there's really no point to Max Potion if you can use Hyper Potions. Uh, revives, all the uh, status healing stuff, and Escape Rope Full Heal. Um, I don't think I'm going to need Full Heal, but... Anyway, I'm already stocked up on everything. I just wanted to uh, show you guys in case there's anybody who doesn't typically p play Pokemon in the audience.